Okay, this site was created um, by our students in the MMP 460 class, and the, and the assignment here was the client was us. It was a multimedia program. We needed a new website for the multimedia program. So what the students received were a lot of content on information. Uh, here's, for example, you know, a, a little student guide uh, for new and prospective students. Uh, we have are about the program, which tells about all the different majors and so forth. Uh, there's also a lot of different academic resources, including, uh, in this case, there's some video content that they had to incorporate as well. Um, by the way, if you are a multimedia student and you plan on coming here, this is a, a good site to go to. It includes things like transfer information, where you can see um, you know, information on the different community co uh, colleges and CUNY as well. So they were given all of this, but just given it basically as content. So it was up to them to have to organize the content, turn it into HTML content, come up with a visual design for the site, uh, and make sure all the text and everything came out right, came on the right pages, and was done that way. So this is a good example of a, a project where you're going to be one piece. You might be working on the HTML side or maybe the design side, working on content and getting that into the right uh, format or whatever. So this is the example of uh, a midterm project from the MMP420 class, uh, which is a multi-user chat. So uh, this student here created a chat that um, allows you to uh, send messages to other people, but also there's an interactive screen where uh, you can color in this flower and everyone who's logged into it will also see it as it happens. So everyone can sort of uh, participate in, in doing that interaction and coloring it. And as you can see, to do all of these things, it requires a lot of code. And this is what you know, the main focus of this class on, is on, is on teaching you how to write code to be able to do these kind of interactive projects as well. OK, this is an example of a project uh, that we would do in the MMP 420 class. Also, um, you would see a similar kind of setup in a screen in the MMP 220 class as well, where you're learning about Flash and how to program in ActionScript. ActionScript is a programming language for Flash. And what you see here is what they call an IDE, or an Integrated Development Environment. So it has both a stage area uh, where you put all of your assets, uh, your visual pieces, and then there's a place where you write code to make it actually do things. And the focus of this, these classes, especially the multimedia programming, is on how to teach you to write codes to get the Flash applications to do what it is you want them to do. This is an example of one of the things that might happen in the MMP 460 class, which is the group projects class. So this is the current website for the multimedia program, but it was created by students. Uh, in the class, we divide the students into groups of usually four to six people per group. And each group works on uh, the same basic project. So in the end, you end up with four or five versions of the same website. And there's always a client involved. And the client's going to pick one of them to actually use. And so in this case, the client was us. It was a multimedia program. And the students in the class got a lot of different content. All of the content here on the site um, from the about the program and all of our requirements for the program to academic resources, including videos um, on those resources and hours and times, all this information was given to the students. And they, their job was to take this information and create the website out of it. So I think there's about 30 or so, 40 pages um, on the site, they had to work in groups. Each people had roles and responsibilities, whether it was graphic design, doing the HTML or the CSS, uh, managing it. You have to have a project manager who can manage the communication between everybody. Uh, and it's, it's a, quite an effort. And this is just one example, but you could be working um, for a different client. It doesn't have to be within BMCC as well. So we've had clients from nonprofit organizations around the area as well.